This is Claudette Ortiz from R&B Divas LA, and you're watching Madame Noir. I decided to do R&B Divas LA uh, because um, I, after prayer and consulting with my family and close friends, we thought it would be a great move for me, for my career, and for my family and my children. And um, we also felt like it would be an avenue to be able to tell my story and touch some people who may be going through the same thing. Uh, my kids will be on the show briefly. Uh, they're always with me, so it's kind of hard to film without them being a part of it. But uh, they, they're not being interviewed or anything like that, but you'll see them briefly, maybe in one or two episodes. I have a good relationship with Ryan, who's my ex-husband. He, uh, he and I raise our children and co-parent. Uh, my ex-husband was fine. He was, he, I think he was, he was more concerned about how, how the kid's gonna play in that situation. He, he viewed it as an opportunity and he was like, man, that's great, congratulations. I don't feel like being in City High really showcased my true talent, no. Um, I was very young and, you know, there were uh, two other people who had their, wanted to put their creative into it and I, I kind of just played the back and media kind of more so put me in the forefront but I, I played the back I didn't really I was just chilling you know just kind of saying a little here a little there but we'll see a little more of it sooner to, <laughs> soon to come I would like to get more into film and uh, movies and I do want to do an album I, I don't want to um, I don't want to be doing this forever. I want to be able to grow in different areas and, and I'm exploring those things and those ideas of where I want to go. But right now I'm focused on that. I knew, I remember when I was little, when she, you know, I remember her music and she would speak on the music. And I remember when I was younger back then, I thought that was very interesting that she had a very small voice and then she would belt out this heavy singing voice. Um, so I wasn't surprised when she spoke to me, you know. I think that it kind of bothered me sometimes, not her voice, but the fact that we would go to something and when she would speak, I didn't like the reactions of people. Like when she would speak, I feel like that's kind of messed up, you know. Um, this is something that she's had to live with for her entire life. And although it doesn't seem to bother her, you know, I think that that's a little bit insensitive. And she's a beautiful person inside and when she sings, boy. <laughs> That heavy voice comes out. <laughs> but you'll get used to it, you know, you learn to love her voice, man. I think I was only because um, you don't know how it would be edited because you can make a face and not say anything and they can place that face as a reaction to something that you didn't really have a reaction to, you know? Um, so I was nervous about it, but um, I'm, I'm okay with it now because I know that I didn't do anything, I didn't say anything that I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty confident in the fact that it'll be all right. As far as facial expressions, I can't. I make plenty of facial expressions, so I don't know how they'll edit how my reaction to something. <laughs> but I'm not nervous about it, no.